Hi guys, my name is Monastery and in this video we're gonna talk about the most used weapon at the moment that is the call. This brand new weapon is obtainable through the final shape campaign. Once you unlocked it, you can do activities in the pale heart destination to either get it to drop or to get more pale heart engrams and use them to focus it at the ghost vendor on the pale heart. This weapon has a wide variety of perks that are really good for PvE content. But let's start with the new origin perk it comes with. The origin perk is called Dealer's Choice and it states Final blows with this weapon grant a small amount of super energy. Multiple pale heart weapons increase this effect. This effect gives roughly 1% super per final blow and 2 to 3 with 2 weapons from the pale heart. Once you have 3 weapons equipped it will go to roughly 5%. So let's go over the perks this weapon can roll with. Keep in mind, these perks can be enhanced once you can craft this weapon. So in the third column, we have Subsistence, Strategist, Lead from Gold, Lice, Beacon Rounds, Demolitionist, and Stats for All. In the fourth column, we have things like One for All, Desperate Measures, Adrenaline Junkie, Proper Weapon, Golden Tricorn, and Multi-Kill Clip, and Hatchling. As you can see, there's a lot of good perks, so let's take a deeper look at it. In the third column, I personally really like playing Lead from Gold, because it makes your ammo economy much much easier because with this perk picking up a brick of heavy ammo grants you 25% of your max reserves of special ammo to this weapon and enhance gives you 35% other things you could consider are slice for example where casting your class ability allows this weapon to sever targets for a brief duration which means you get 5 hits that apply sever for 8 seconds. Sever is a pretty strong buff that decreases the damage output of the target hit by it by 40%. And once you enhance it, it will be a duration of 9 seconds that you can apply to the target. Another perk I also think that would be really good and I want to take a look at is Demolitionist. As final blows with this weapon generate grenade energy and throwing a grenade will reload the weapon from reserves. This will give you a 10% grenade energy back on final blow and once you enhance this perk it's going to be 11% per final blow. That would be it for the third column, let's take a look at the fourth column. One of the perks I think is strong here would be one for all, because hitting three separate targets increases the damage by 35% for 10 seconds. And once you enhance this perk, the duration of the perk goes up from 10 to 11 seconds. Another perk that is really easy to proc and really good and you should consider is desperate measures, because on final blow you will get a 10% damage buff. Once you get a grenade or melee final blow, this will stack up to three times up to 30% damage increase and this will last for 7 seconds but you can simply refresh it by just getting another final blow with either grenades or melee or just a normal weapon final blow. Once you enhance this, this will give you a duration of 8 seconds instead of 7 on final blow. Another lazy perk would be Vorpal Weapon. This increases damage against bosses, vehicles and guardians with their super active by 15% which just makes it super super easy to deal with higher ranking enemies like champions or maybe even bosses. Once you enhance this perk, this will just give you an extra plus 5 super Another perk I want to take a look at would be Hatchling, because if you want to build into a strand and stuff like that, it would be really good to get. On Prismatic, I don't really recommend this, but if you get a precision final blow or rapidly defeat targets with this weapon, this will spawn in a Threadling at the target's location. This means that three non-rapid precision final blows will spawn a Threadling. The enhanced version just gives you a plus five handling. So after looking at all these perks, I would say that the god roll is Left from Gold, Demolitionist or Slice in the third column, and in the fourth column you could go with things like one for all desperate measures or hatchling these perks are all pretty good because for example with left from gold as i said your economy on ammo is pretty good because as soon as the heavy brick drops you get back 25 or 35 percent of your ammo and then things like one for all is just a crazy good damage buff desperate measures is also good a hatchling and demolitionist would be amazing for a strand build where you're just focusing on throwing a lot of grenades and just getting into a lot of grenade stuff then things like demolitionist and desperate measures just play together because you're just getting weapon kills getting your grenade back you throw a grenade reload your weapon get grenade kills get more damage and this just feeds into each other if you would want to you could also go for a left for gold and one for all so you can just shoot multiple targets get a heavy brick get more ammo back you see all these rolls are pretty good i would want you to choose out of these six perks because these are definitely the strongest perks on this weapon all right i just wanted to keep this video as short as possible so leave a like leave a comment and subscribe to your channel for more videos like that I'll I'll just leave the rest of the strike gameplay running in the background and we will see each other next video guardian
kill them. Treasure awaits. Thanks for your help out here, Chosen One. So, hey. 